Hey everyone, another day working on the VR6 2004 GTI 2.8 6 speed and this one threw a rod through the block due to my error of putting the oil thermostat backwards and running it on the track. It didn't even make a lap, let go. Obviously, no oil pressure, no engine. One thing that is amazing about this engine is how small this engine is for a six cylinder. Um, it's a little bit wider, maybe inch, inch and a half wider than the four cylinder. And the length, if this was an inline six, it would be another six, seven inches longer. But this one, honestly, it's probably an inch to two inches bigger than a 1.8 turbo out of a Volkswagen or an Audi. So this is a pretty cool, amazing design. And um, the amount of s the head bolts there is on this engine is crazy. Look at all these head bolts. No wonder these engines are nice to turbo. And it's really clean for 90,000 miles, amazing. Um, there's no burnt oil sludge anywhere. Just everything looks like it was freshly built. This is uh, the 2.8 fueling style. You got a return line on the 2.8 and uh, it's a little bit smaller than the one in the Turag. And I really hope to use this one out of a Turag. Look at this fuel line or fuel rail. This is solid. I mean, this will handle a lot of horsepower if you want to go turbo. And obviously the injectors are bigger on the 3.2. So I am thinking of contacting somebody to make a tune for it so I can run these injectors. I was originally going to swap the valve cover, but I'm going to keep the 3.2 intake manifold. Looking at it, it, lo it looks like it's a little bit bigger on the plenum, plenum side. And I'm, I'm sure the runners are the same. I looked at them multiple times. Now, they might be slightly longer, but the width of them are, um, they're all the same. The throttle body is bigger, and I don't believe you can bolt it up to a 2.8 manifold because the size is bigger. And uh, you could if you built a spacer for it. So, yeah, that's where I'm at at this point. I'm going to keep everything on the top of the engine from a 3.2. The only thing I need is the oil pan out of a 2.8. Um, so I'm going to strip this engine down completely. Leave uh, the, the parts that are still good. And throw away the block. And then this head might eventually get modified to go on a 3.6 that uh, might be something in the future that I'm looking into doing a hybrid with the new 3.6 bottom end and 2.8 head or a 3.2 head if I ever get my hands on one. Um, that would be pretty cool. They make a lot of torque, about 290 horsepower, 270 to 90 horsepower and torque wise anywhere from 310 to 335 torque it's it's pretty crazy but uh, that would be a pretty cool build for a small two-door Volkswagen Golf so that's where I am right now